Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Kevin and this is the Wrench and Fool. So in this video we're back in my 2019 Chevy Bolt EV. Uh, and this is sort of a spur of the moment video. You can probably just about see out the window there. Maybe you can hear it as well. Uh, it's raining right now, um, which is not unusual. This is the Pacific Northwest. It rains a lot. Anyone, you talk to anyone about EVs that knows what they're talking about, they'll tell you that your efficiency will drop when it's raining. And that sort of makes sense. Uh, you know, if you drive through a big puddle on the road or whatever, especially if you're traveling pretty fast, you can definitely feel the car bog down. Uh, and sort of get dragged down by the water. The, the point of this video uh, is to see what effect just the rain has on the efficiency. So I'm going to do my regular efficiency loop, about 170 or so miles. Uh, we've got charged up to 100% here. It also gives me an opportunity, this is my first time really driving any sort of distance after getting the battery recall done. So I want to see it'll give me an opportunity to test and see if they've changed the capacity, the available capacity of the battery or not. So like I said, we're charged up to 100%. Uh, I just need to go on a plug and then we'll uh, get on the road. Okay, we've made it here to the turnaround point. Uh, I haven't been filming any driving footage while on the way out here because it's dark and wet and it just pretty much looks like this. So obviously that's not very interesting. Uh, but anyway, we are currently sitting at 56%. We've driven 84.1 miles, used 25.6 kilowatt hours, uh, which equates to roughly 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour, which is a pretty substantial drop from the four miles per kilowatt hour that we got doing the 60 mile an hour test uh, on dry pavement. Now, a quick test note here, I was originally planning to do this at 70 miles an hour uh, because I figured that the higher speeds would probably uh, further illustrate the point of the effect that rain has on efficiency. Um, but within a couple of miles of getting on the freeway, I hit a pretty heavy uh, rain shower and it became apparent pretty quickly that uh, trying to maintain 70 miles an hour through those heavier showers uh, with half worn out stock efficiency focused tires was just not going to be a safe thing to do. So I opted within that couple of miles of starting the test to slow the, everything down to 60 miles an hour uh, in the interest of safety, but also to try to keep the speeds as, consi as consistent as possible on this test. So we'll just uh, compare these efficiency results versus the 60 mile an hour test in the dry and it'll still be perfectly valid. So I'm gonna get back on the freeway, get turned back around, headed home, and uh, let's see how these results turn out. We have made it back home. So we've traveled a total of 168.6 miles. We used 49 kilowatt hours of energy exactly to travel that distance that equates to roughly 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour. So I'm going from memory here, but that's a pretty substantial drop um, from our previous 60 mile an hour test. And again, I did not use the air conditioning or the heat at all. It's about 65 degrees outside right now, so it's not even coat weather at this point, aside from the fact that it's raining. So the only difference there, and there's no wind either, I should mention. So the only difference there is just the rain on the road. So interesting result. Um, of course, yeah, I knew that there was going to be a re reduction in efficiency there, but it's cool to be able to actually see uh, and quantify the amount. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about anything you saw in here, be f uh, feel free to leave them down there in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.